Hello friends, today let me tell about coordination itself. First we have to know what is coordination. Definition of coordination is, it is a smooth, rhythmical and accurate hormonal activity performed in correct sequence of action of muscles is called coordination. Lack of coordination is called incoordination or asynergia. Coordination exercise is given to improve coordination. Causes for incoordination, flaccidity, spasticity, cerebellar ataxia, loss of kinesthetic sensation, thanks dorsalis, serendomyelia, leprosy, diabetes mellitus. There are two types of tests. First one, equilibrium test. It is used to check gross motor activities. Second one, non-equilibrium test. It is used to check fine motor activities. Equilibrium test. First, standing feet together for 30 seconds. Next, Tandem standing for 30 seconds. Next, standing on one foot for 30 seconds. Do on both sides. Forward trunk flexion with upper extremity reach. Next, Standing with lateral trunk flexion. Do on both sides. Rhombex test. Patient is made to stand straight with the eyes opened. Then the patient is instructed to shut the eyes. Next. Sharpen rhombic sign. Ask the patient to stand in tandem standing. Ask the patient to close the eyes. Tandem walking. Next test. Walking on a marked straight line. Next, marching in place. Forward walking. Backward walking. Next, side walking. Next, cross walking. Next, heel walking. Next, toe walking. Next, obstacle walking. Sitting on a Swiss ball. Progression. Ask the patient to raise both hands. Next progression. Ask the patient to lift one leg. Stair climbing with support. Stair climbing without support. Non-equilibrium test. First one, finger to nose test. 90 degree abduction of shoulder and touch the nose. First, laterally. Progression bilaterally. Next progression, do with eyes closed. Next, alternate nose to finger. Next, 
finger to finger test 90 degree abduction of the shoulder touch the tip of the index finger next finger opposition test next forearm turning next alternate forearm turning next tapping hand next tapping foot next mask grasping next pointing and post pointing next alternate heel to knee next alternate heel to toe next heel on shin next heel over the shin of the tibia rapid alternating movements first square walking next diagonal walking frankel exercise it is otherwise known as systematic graduated exercise definition it is defined as the series of gradual progressive exercise designed to increase coordination main principles concentration precision repetition factors affecting the exercise deformity pain mal posture asymmetry mental and psychological stress overweight technique position and clothing explanation of exercise attention of patient speed of movement range of motion by marking spots repetition of exercise rest periods first exercise hip and knee flexion and extension next hip abduction and adduction next alternate hip and knee flexion and extension both hip and knee flexion and extension one leg flexion and extension another leg abduction and adduction simultaneously both hip flexion and extension along with abduction and adduction in the same limb next ask the patient to touch the patella shin of the tibia ankle joint in the other leg next heel sliding over the shin of the tibia now ask the patient to reach the therapist hand
lower limb movements in sitting first one next sitting to standing standing to sitting next ask the patient to walk along the line first on three line progression on walking on two line progression walking on one line pivot turning weight shifting in standing ask the patient to reach the marked line and do flexion now ask the patient to stand beside the wall and do abduction That's all about quadricep exercise and frontal exercise. Thank you.